Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to do this division problem. We're talking about division with remainders. So the answer here is going to have a remainder. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I did this a long time ago. This is so easy. Well, what I want you to do is to put your calculator away. Okay, that's the first thing I want you to do. So I want to see if you remember how to do a problem like this. Now, if you're like, yeah, yeah, I remember how to do this. I don't need my calculator. I'm good to go. Well, that's great. Okay, now I've got another challenger for you is try to see if you can define the procedure, okay, to do this problem. Okay, in other words, if you had to tutor someone in division, okay, or if you had to program a computer, you would have to write the instructions for it. Uh, that's called an algorithm, all right? And what we're actually talking about here is something called the division algorithm. Now, you might be saying, well, this is arithmetic. I'm in more advanced math like algebra. Well, guess what? In more advanced like algebra, algebra 2, and, you know, calculus, well, you actually uh, use this procedure, this division algorithm that we're going to use here. You use it in advanced math as well. So the whole idea of this video is, one, you know, we're going to just kind of Go back through memory lane. For some of you, might you know this might have been years and years ago, uh, you know since you've done a problem like this, and that's okay for me. It was the good old 1970s uh, when I was doing this uh, stuff. But that's the point is this: whether you're learning this right now, if you uh, happen to be, let's say, in fifth, sixth grade, or oh, that it's kind of late, right? Maybe like fourth or fifth grade, whatever the case is. Just know that this basic math, you got to keep this arithmetic skills for more advanced math. And if you're in, uh, in advanced mathematics, you know, don't, you, you don't want to ever want to minimize arithmetic. It's extremely important. Okay. So if you're like, yeah, I can get the answer. Well, that's great. Can you define the procedure here as if you had to program a computer, right? So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and give you a chance to actually do this. Again, put your calculator ways. If you can figure this problem out, hopefully most of you can, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then I'm going to kind of go through this in a way where I'm going to explain the problem kind of step by step, okay? Kind of, kind of construct an algorithm, uh, informal explanation of what we call the division algorithm in mathematics. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video is exciting and helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so 6, or 85 divided by 6, and this is typically the way you would write it. You know, stylistically, it could, be, uh, it could be written this way, right? And it could even be written this way, 85 divided by 6. Doesn't make a difference. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer to any, uh, you know, in terms of the way you want to write it. But here is the answer, okay? It's 14 remainder equal 1. So I said that we're talking about division with remainders, and I kind of um, just caught myself here. Well, if you write the problem 85 divided by 6, this you, you need to write it in either this uh, uh, format or this format to do this problem. Okay, but these are equivalent ways to express this division problem. Okay, so the, again, the answer is 14 remainder 1. How did you do? Well, if you got this right, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a few stars. Now, if you were able to kind of define this, okay, this is step one, step two, step three, and you really, really feel like you have a great uh, grasp on division, that is outstanding, okay? Uh, you know, it's one thing to know math. It's another thing to be able to teach it, all right? If you ever want to uh, ask yourself how well I know something in any topic, whether it's math, science, doesn't make a difference. If you can teach something okay, to someone, that's a strong indication that you know what you're talking about, right? Let's say there's some new dance out there. You're like, hey, I'm going to teach you how to do this dance. That means you know how to do that dance really, really well. Okay, So if you can teach someone how to do division, that means you do have a strong handle on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. And I'm just kind of informally kind of going through the question or going through uh, the division algorithm. This is not a technical uh, explanation of the div uh, division algorithm, but I am going to kind of explain it uh, in the way I was taught. Now, there are different uh, methods to teach division. 
okay? Uh, and there's some of these things that came out like in Common Core, Mathematics, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not even kind of going to uh, go, I'm not even going to get into that subject, <laughs> but do this problem, you know, the way you were taught how to do it. Okay? As long as you can produce the right answer and you understand what's going on, that's perfectly fine, okay? But I'm going to show you kind of which is, I'm going to show you what I believe is pretty much the traditional old school way to do arithmetic. And to me, uh, this is the more uh, the most simplistic way. All right, so here is our problem, 85 divided by 6. So what do we do? Well, the first thing we do is like, okay, we're looking at these numbers. We look at this digit right there, that's 8. And we need to ask ourselves a question in our brain. We're like, okay, can 6 go into 8, All right? So hopefully this is how your your brain, right? You're some teacher out there in your third, fourth, fifth grade taught you how to do this. So you're going through this little mental procedure. So you're, you're thinking here, your brain's working and your brain's asking these questions. It's pretty crazy, right? How you learn math and you're going through this little computer program without even thinking about it, right? But someone taught you this program, okay? This is a procedure. So the first is, can six uh, go into eight? Uh, and hopefully you said, yes, it can, right? We can uh, squeeze a six into this eight. And visually, if you look at it this way here, let's model this out. So here is four and here is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, we could squeeze a six into an eight, okay? All right, so how many times can we, uh, uh, does six go into eight? How many sixes can we fit into eight? Well, we could just fit one, all right? So six goes into eight one time, okay? So that is our answer, and we're going to put that right above the eight, okay? So again, this is kind of like an explanation of that division algorithm. All right, so that's step one. All right, what's step two? Well, the next thing we need to do, yeah, or the procedure tells us to take this number, okay, this one that we got from that first step, and we're going to multiply it by that six. So six times one, or one times six, excuse me, is six. So we're going to take the answer to this product, and we're going to put it right underneath the eight, okay? So we're going to uh, take away six right here, so we're going to subtract six away. So again, you know, uh, hopefully you're starting to appreciate um, your elementary teachers, okay, or primary school teachers, however you refer to them, okay? And for me, unfortunately, I only remember my first or second grade teacher back in maybe the year 1975 because she used to smoke right outside the classroom. I guess we were pretty rowdy kids back, uh, back in those days. But uh, anyways, that was a good old days. Okay, so now let's go ahead and continue on. Okay, so what do we need to do? So we have 8 minus 6. So we need to do this little math right there. 8 minus 6, of course, is 2. So now we're at this stage of the problem. Okay, so we, we said, okay, can 6 go into 8? Yes, it goes into 1 time. 1 times 6 is 6. So we're going to subtract that 6 away from 8. That's 2. Okay, so now we're going to ask ourselves the following. Okay, we're looking at this 2 there. We're just basically going to repeat the uh, procedure. Okay, so can 6 go into this 2? Well, the answer is no. Okay, cannot go into 2. We can't fit 6 into 2. So what we need to do is drop this 5 down. Now, if you, again, imagine if you had to program a computer with all these steps. You know, that's, you know, uh, pretty, you know, you know, good amount of programming, right? There's a lot of little details here that we need to do. So we're going to drop this 5 down here. Now we have the number 25. Okay, so now we're going to ask the same question. 6 can't go into 2. Okay, no, it cannot. But how about 25? Can 6 go into 25? Well, of course it can. How many times can 6 go into 25? The answer is 4, right? So in order to know division, you got to know its inverse operation, which is multiplication. That's why when you learn division, you really have to first master those times tables, right? All that good stuff. And this is, you know, how do you master uh, the times tables? You know, we're talking about one, two, three, four, five, six. Any uh, parents out there or people that uh, maybe you have grandkids or whatever the case is, I'm here to tell you that there's nothing uh, wrong with good old-fashioned rote brute force learning, okay? <laughs> when it comes to math, you don't need to know all the things uh, about, you know, the subject when you first start learning some of these things. What I'm talking about rote is just rote memory means just uh, like flashcard memorization. Get yourself some flashcard and write these things down at two times seven, put the answer on the other side, it's 14. 
And don't, you know, you're, uh, you or someone else, you don't need to know all the answers right now. You just need to get this information into your, into your brain, right? So, uh, you know, and it goes the same, that's the same thing for like advanced math. Just, you know, learn the material the best you can. Later down the line, you'll have a more higher order uh, kind of comprehension of the material, kind of a full synthesis. So you don't try to, you know, master mathematics by learning all the advanced concepts of it. You just get the procedure down. Uh, but anyways, uh, before you can do division, you have to learn the times tables. So you have to know how to multiply first, okay? So here, you're thinking, okay, six times what? is 25, right? So how do you, you know, how are you thinking about that in your brain? Well, your brain's going back to those flashcards. You're like six times one, no, six times two, six times three, that's 18. Uh, six times four, that's 24, that's pretty close. Six times five, nope, that's too much. Okay, so six times four. So uh, six goes into 25, how many times? Four times, right? Okay, so now we could put the pieces all together. So Six goes in 25 four times, so we're going to put that right above that five, so that's 14, okay? So now we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to take that four, we're kind of repeating the process, four times six, that of course is 24, and we're going to uh, subtract it away from the tw uh, 25, so uh, 24, um, uh, 25 minus 24 is one. Can six go into one? Okay, the answer is no. We're like, well, let's just drop down another number. Well, there is no other number here. There's no decimal point, nothing like that. So we're kind of like we don't have any more digits like a 7 to drop down. So we are done. 6 cannot go into 1. So what does that mean? Well, this means this right there is the remainder. Okay, so 1 is the remainder. All right, so let's put this all together. So here it is. Here is our final lovely answer. So uh, 85 divided by 6 is 14 remainder 1. Okay, so this is how you would express your answer just like this. Well, 14 uh, are equal 1. And you could even use fractions, but that's a uh, different topic. Okay, so hopefully, you know, that, you know, this was a good little quick review for division with remainders. Okay, so that's great. And this could get even more interesting when you're dealing with decimals and place value and fractions and all the, uh, the like. But the main idea behind me doing this uh, video is for you, okay, to really um, assimilate or concentrate on learning this stuff for the long run. And do not forget the things that you learn. Now, of course, we're going to be rusty on this uh, kind of uh, arithmetic because we just, you know, as you progress on to, you know, things like uh, learning algebra and more advanced math, we're using our calculators all the time. So we do get rusty on, you know, basic arithmetic, but I want you to appreciate, you know, all the things that you did learn and, you, you know, it's just like riding a bike. Someone taught you how to ride a bike. Someone had to taught you how to uh, do this division. And you're like, wow, who taught me that? You know, probably most of us may, no, I'm only speaking for myself. I don't remember, unfortunately. I wish I did remember all of my elementary school teachers. I remember their kind of their faces. But, you know, it is a, a thing that we should appreciate that someone taught you this stuff. Okay, you may not even know their name, but it's in your brain forever. Okay, and believe me when I tell you right now, you know, as someone who's been teaching for decades, it's not easy to be a teacher. It is a kind of uh, uh, an art form, all right, uh, involved. But uh, take this uh, uh, to heart where, you know, you know, and say, hey, you know what, anything I do learn in math, I'm going to try to master it, okay, because you just never know where it's, when it's going to come up again in the future. Okay, so if you do need help, though, with basic mathematics, like elementary level math, you know, whether it be fractions, basic division, multiplication, uh, decimals, etc. I have a great little math course, a little quick uh, mini course called my Math Foundations course. Uh, that'd be a great review for those of you that need to kind of review uh, basic arithmetic. Of course, you can find it at my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.